bad. There's a great archaea phrase, Fraser Cook, but I'll read it tomorrow for my streetwear thing. Break that down for a bit. I've got to read that. There's an article with Gino. Gino's coming back. You heard about Gino? Gino's coming. Gino's making a comeback, brothers and sisters. Gino's making a comeback. He's reintroducing his brand, Poets, that if, if you're a... Uh, if you're ahead, you would have known it. It's an article here on on High Snobiety. I haven't really read the whole article, but it says here, um, founded by pro skater Gino Rinda, Gino Iyanuichi, Poets is a Long Island-born clothing label inspired by his childhood passion films and sports like tennis and hockey. And if you're really familiar, back in the day, he did the Poets blazer back in the day that I had, that I saw, that I regret selling it. Navy blue, sort of black kind of colorway. Really nice blazer. But he's well known for wearing, you know, really crazy shoes basically and um, when he's skating whether it's soccer shoes whether it's like indoor five side shoes whether it's incredibly thin plimsolls like he's like he's the best but there's a common saying that you know people would prefer to see you know push them some skate skate because he has some maybe the best push style in the world uh he just looks quite like an absolute he just looks so graceful on a skateboard that's basically it but anyway, the video continues <laughs> Poets is making a comeback. So here is Gino pushing, looking amazing. Well, again, wearing soccer trainers. Again, Poets. Oh, Poets cardigan. Nice. Poets. What's that? Zip up jacket. Another Poets jack shirt there. It's a good idea he's bringing it back though. It's really it's well needed nowadays, I think. Glad to hear it, man. Oh, we've got VCR cameras there too. Of course, that's a fetish we're going for. We've got him playing tennis. Yeah, boy. I'm all over this. Oh, what are those trainers he's wearing actually? They actually look like what are they? Are they another another Nike indoor tennis sneaker or Tiempo or something of those likes? Or that collaboration again? Imagine coming back into a scene with your brand, reintroducing it, and you come out the gate, straight out of the gate with a Nike collab. That's what you get when you're an OG. OG, OG. Look. Where is it? Come on. He looks good though, to be honest. Gino looks good, man. Looks like he hasn't been on the source or anything. Looks good. He looks, looks good. He looks in good good health. Good t-shirts I like so far. I'm seeing some nice t-shirts here from Poets. I'm seeing some great jackets with Poets written on the back. I'm not a fan of the P on the shoulder because it looks a little bit like Palace and ain't no one. No, we're not wearing Palace out here. Fuck all that shit. We're not trying to, we're not trying to uh, uh, appropriate fucking working class culture. Wearing sweatpants with loafers and smoking cigarettes and wearing sovereign rings like a numpty. We want to wear Poets. That's, this, looks, this looks awesome. I wonder, I wonder what the sneakers are. Hmm. The super thin as well, isn't it? I don't know what they are. They look incredibly thin, though. Going back to you know the standard Gino in, in you know, Ianuichi protocol. I wish I pronounced how you pronounce his name. Ian Ianuichi, Ian Nuichi, Ian Nuichi. I don't know how you pronounce it. Certain way anyway. But anyway, that's that's a video there. It's, it's available on High Snobiety. It's an article called Skater Gino Nui in Ian Nuichi writes the next chapter of his brand poets. Check it out. Check it.